Kendrick back into the ring. And again, guys, remember the rules of a fatal four-way. First man to gain pinfall or submission is the number one contender for the cruiserweight title. Imagine the nervous butterflies you have your first time on Raw for all these superstars except for Kendrick. And, and now you realize you have a potential shot at the cruiserweight title on Sunday. That's Grand Metalik. And this is Rich Swan, who shows off some moves of his own with a drop kick right to the face of Metalik. Rich Swan describes his style as high energy. Well, he's used to the Lucha Libre style. He's oh, man. Brian Kendrick. Yeah, the veteran, the 37-year-old who uh, has received a new lease on his career. An incredible match with Kota Ibushi in the Cruiserweight Classic, a match that brought commentator Daniel Bryan, a good friend of Brian Kendrick's, to tears. And there's Cedric Alexander. Now, this is a man of Kendrick who got his start in 1999, was actually trained by WWE Hall of Famer, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Also, uh, William Regal, Tracy Smothers as well. As you see, Alexander now taking it to Kendrick. Kendrick hanging on, and... Now looks for a breather. And Alexander boots right to the face of Brian Kendrick. And this is Metalik. Alexander looking to put him away and advance to Clash of Champions and a kick out of two. Alexander, so when he first entered the Cruiserweight Classic, he just he wanted to test himself, gauge how talented he was against 31 of the best Cruiserweights in the world. And well, now he's got the opportunity of a lifetime. And put the world on notice when he almost defeated one of the best in the world in Koto Ibushi. There's a chop from Alexander to Grand Metalik. Metalik lands on his feet. Alexander misses wildly. There's a springboard back elbow. Grand Metalik, El Rey de las Cuerdas, which means king of the ropes. Well, those ropes become an unofficial tag team partner for Metalik. Alexander oh. is failing it here. And fatal four-way rules. Rich Swan back into the match. Gotta keep your head on a swivel in a fatal four-way. Snapmare takedown by Swan and a kick right to the spine. Swan who, uh, Calls a uh, super crazy Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Psychosis, uh, some of the influences in his career. Uh, so his favorite show as a kid was the Power Rangers, and when he saw Luchadors competing in WCW, it was like watching the Power Rangers compete in the wrestling ring. Look at this, Rich Swan with a modified dragon sleeper hold on Cedric Alexander. Notice the arms behind the back, putting a little bit of extra pressure around the neck. Alexander makes it back to a vertical base, looking and does counter this. Follows it with a chop. Well-placed elbow to the back of the neck of Rich Swan. Oof. Wow. That'll sting a little bit. He says cruiserweights can't throw hands. Oh! Come on! Test of shots here. into a head spring and Alexander <laughs> he paid for it though didn't he you're absolutely right he did remember Rich Swan grew up in Charm City Baltimore Maryland he's been in quite a few scraps Swan advanced to the Elite Eight in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament oh look at that Alexander the head scissors sent Swan flying Here comes Metalik back into the fray man the rest of the weary in this matchup oh. Alexander gets beat up all over the place but he's still in this thing oh. Alexander oh. Oh. Alexander landed on his feet. Unbelievable athleticism, that picture perfect. Cope con Hilo. That was good. Who said you couldn't call a cruiser right now? That would be our GM. She tossed up and out. Show it. Oh, my God. Oh. Down goes everybody. One upsmanship using that middle rope as a springboard with another Cope con Hilo, the king of the ropes, taking to the skies. Look at this. Alexander first landing on his feet, and soon the luchador would follow. And there's some of that breathtaking, high-flying offense from Grand Metal Lake. Not a case where you can't worry about getting hurt. You can't worry about things going wrong. You have to use everything in your arsenal to get yourself a trip to Sunday at Clash of Champions and a shot at the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, Metal Lake, the uh, young man from Guadalajara, Mexico. And there's Kendrick the veteran. Brian Kendrick lying in wait. Kendrick ripped Metal Lake right out of the air all the way to the floor. I don't even think he hit the apron on the way out. Now Brian Kendrick who back in 2009 was released from WWE and spent the next seven years trying to get back here. And there's a oh, right man from Swan. Jeez. Kendrick able to block and send Swan into the barricade. Just threw Swan through the barricade. Had the steps to it. Ryan Kendrick has always had a mean streak. 
Like I mentioned before, though, since he's come back since the Cruiserweight Classic, oh, Kendrick. Oh, oh. Good oh. Good oh. Good oh. Good foot is, is caught on steel steps there, and Kendrick looking to hurt him bad and take him out of the equation. Brian Kendrick has taken control. Who's going to Clash of Champions? We are back live on Monday Night Raw. One of these four men, Brian Kendrick, Cedric Alexander in the ring. Grand Metal oh. is on the top row. Oh. Slot is outside the ring. Are going to go to Clash of Champions. Here's the cover. Will it be Metal Eakin? No, this is a fatal four-way match where the first man to gain pinfall or submission will take on the Cruiserweight Champion TJ Perkins Sunday at the Raw exclusive pay-per-view. They call him the King of the Ropes, and this is just one reason why. Picture perfect. Elbow drop from the top by Grand Metal It comes again. Tremendous balance by Metal Eakin. <laughs> Standing shooting star. Is it enough to put Swan away? Almost had him in a two count. <laughs> Metalik, who began his career as a young man wrestling the likes of a, the great oh. Ultimo Dragon. And now finds himself here tonight on Monday Night Raw with an opportunity to go to Clash of Champions. Top rope for Metalik. Move, so Swan got the feet up. Those ropes are his bread and butter, but that time Metalik paid the price, and now Swan has the opportunity. <laughs> and Swan stacks him up. Jack Knight cover. Is it enough here? No. Alexander breaking it up. Rich Swan thought he had him. Cedric Alexander wants that opportunity at Clash of Champions as much as anybody. Willing to do whatever it takes to make it to Sunday. Listen, you don't know what you don't oh. know what, you don't know what happens to your career. You don't know when the next chance is gonna come to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. Exclusive to Monday Night Raw, the Cruiserweight division, making its debut here tonight live in Memphis. Alexander Swan lands on his feet. Cedric Alexander trying to fight out. Swan looking to block. Alexander with an elbow. And the highly athletic Cedric Alexander. Oh, lights out. Springboarding his way into an Instagram. Here's the cover. Kick out at two. Almost had him. Alexander thought he was going to Indianapolis. It's the lightning quick striking ability of Alexander on the mark. Incredible action. WWE fans appreciating what the Cruiserweights are leaving in the ring. The division 205 pounds and under. Cedric Alexander, we talked about it earlier, cut 20 pounds in weight just to be able to participate in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. He's kept the weight off to compete here on Raw. Looking for a slice bread, Brian Kendrick. Grand Metal League able to grab Kendrick no mid air. Oh. Kendrick planted him with a DDT. Here's the cover to advance to Clash of Champions. Adam no. kick out by Metal League. Kendrick can't believe it. Talked about how Kendrick is the most experienced when it comes to the stage at WWE. The only man out of all four of these superstars to have competed and successfully competed on Raw. Oh my man, goodness. What a running knee from Cedric Alexander. Swan with a kick in the face. Could it be Rich Swan's moment? You only have so much time, Rich. You gotta do something and you gotta do it now. Swan can't get caught in the moment. I know he was excited. This opportunity is massive, but you can't waste time when you've got three other dangerous competitors in the ring. Think about Sunday. Think about what you have coming for you. And oh, oh, my man. goodness. He caught him in the midsection. Brian Kendrick, that was right there. Kendrick like a scavenger. Yeah, Kendrick, the experience. Hey, it's the captain's hook. He calls this the captain's hook. He's got it locked in on Alexander here. And Grand Metalik breaks things up. You almost have to have a mental clock in this match, knowing you have so much limited time. Watch this, Swan, standing 450 splash. But Kendrick, right place, right time. Now is it Metal League's moment? Oh. Alexander knees to the back. Was at the lumbar check. Kendrick, so now he's got him again. Captain Tucker for Brian Kendrick. Alexander nowhere to go. Will it be Kendrick's moment? He's passed out. Brian Kendrick's going to try some champion. Here is your winner by submission, Brian Kendrick! What a moment for Brian Kendrick! We mentioned it before, the desperation, the urgency with which Brian Kendrick has competed since the Cruiserweight Classic. He brought it tonight to Monday Night Raw, and now he can take it to Clash of Champions. A career renaissance continues for Brian Kendrick. At 37 years old, another opportunity to compete in WWE, and he made the best of it. But what action here tonight in our inaugural match of the Cruiserweight Division on Monday Night Raw. Unbelievable displays of athleticism, unique offense. Cedric Alexander has had plenty of success with this very maneuver around the globe. Tonight, he came up just a little bit short. I, this is the thing, seeing this action, how lucky are we to get these cruiserweights? And the captain's hook is what Brian Kendrick calls this. And it was enough to tap out Alexander, which means Kendrick is going to Indianapolis for the Raw exclusive pay-per-view known as Clash of Champions Sunday, only on the 
Tony WWE Network, and he will take on the champion, the winner of the Cruiserweight Classic, TJ Perkins. This will be a good one. I could not be any more excited. Prominently featured at Clash of Champions, the Cruiserweight Championship. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And TJ